In this video, I'm going to talk about the map array method in JavaScript. To be able to understand it properly, you need to have a good understanding of what callback functions are, what arrow functions are, what is pass by value and call by sharing. With that being said, let's get into the video. The map method maps every value in the original array to a new value in the returned array. When you call map on an array, so let's say we have an array called numbers and I'm going to do numbers.map. Since I've already mentioned that map returns a new array, I'm going to assign this new array to const new array. So this map function accepts a callback function. This callback function is called by the map function for every element of this array and callback receives two values, the element and the index of this element. Inside of this callback function, you perform some computations and return a new value that should be present in the returned array at that particular index. Here's an idea or a simple implementation of the map method. So map creates a new array and then it loops through the array it was called upon. Then for every element in this array, it calls this callback function with two values, the element and the index. Now this callback function returns a new element, which is then pushed to this new array. At the end of the map function, this new array is returned. So let's take a look at an example. So the simplest example is where the array is mapped to the same values as the original array. So in this case, the callback function accepts a value and it returns the same value. So in this case, if you try to print the returned array, the elements will look the same as the original array. But this is not very useful. Let's consider another example. So in this case, you want to double every value in this array. So in this case, the callback function would look something like this. So it receives an element and in the position of this element in the returned array, you want the value to be doubled. So from the callback function, you return element into two. So now in the new array, all of the elements are doubled. So now let's consider an example where you want to map an array of objects to a new array. So let's consider this example. So I have an array called fruits and each fruit is defined using an object and some properties and the properties name and price. I want a new array where the price of all of the fruits are discounted by 20%. So to do that, I'm going to do const discounted fruits equals to fruits.map and then the callback function. So in this case, I want a fruit with its price updated to the discounted price. So my callback function is going to accept an object, which is fruit. And then I'm going to do fruit.price equals to 0.8, which is 80%. Since I'm giving a 20% discount, then the new price will be 80% of the existing price. So fruit.price equals to 0.8 into fruit.price and then I return this updated fruit. Now if you try to print a discounted fruit, you'll see the price for all of the fruits are discounted. But if you try to print fruits, you'll see that the original fruits array and all of the fruits inside of it were also updated. So unless you intentionally want the original array to also be updated, you should always return a newer object from the callback function. So make sure your objects are pure. So instead of doing fruit.price equals to 0.8 into fruit.price, I'm going to return a new object by spreading the properties of fruit and then overriding the value of price using price colon 0.8 into fruit.price. And now only discounted fruits will have the new discounted price, whereas fruits will remain the same. 